My content is for 13 and up or adult collectors of the product. We have new information on the releases for October. Hey everyone, before we continue with this video, subscribe to the channel with bell notifications on and so this is going to be talking about the October releases. So this is the all-in-one set and the starter set. So I want to give credit where credit's due because for the images later on. Credits to J and J store. They have an Instagram page, a Facebook page, and they have their eBay store. Uh, credit to the original source. So please make sure you check them out. Link in the description below. Please go and support them. I uh, would be greatly appreciated. All right, now what we're all here for, the information. Uh, coming from a trusted source, we're going to first go over the all-in-one set. I don't know release dates or anything else, parts, whatever, Just I just know like the basic stuff. So for the all-in-one set, it, there is supposed to be a Divine, Belial, I'm pretty sure, and a Chain Curbeus. And the Chain Curbeus is supposed to be the gold one. So um, if you're expecting some different stages, just same as DB, I'm pretty sure from what I was told. The gold Chain Curbeus uh, is interesting, I guess. Chain was already, and Chain and Corbeus were pretty accessible, so it's not really like it was that big of a deal, uh, honestly, but it depends what performance tip they actually give to it. I'm pretty sure Divine Belly will probably just be like stock color, uh, stock combo, or very close to that. And Chain, I don't know, they give it high drift, or, or, or give it some tip where it's actually useful, otherwise no one's gonna get the all-in-one -on set. Or, that's not true. Uh, honestly, if they give it like high drift or something, or like a metal moment, m maybe. Maybe. To be clear, honestly, the all-in-one sets are kind of just like these starter sets for people that are in Japan just to get if, the, if they want. It's not really like, because if you already have the base, you don't really get it. The only exception with last year was because Roar uh, and the Bahama Core were not too accessible, and Metal Drift. Unless they just go something crazy for the all-in-one set, then I don't know. Uh, either way though, cool I guess, another DB Stadium, whoa! Next up, the starter set. Um, so, uh, if you like Divine before, you'll like Divine again. Apparently as well, there's supposed to be a new core that's on the Divine. We don't know what it is. Obviously, wait a few days and I guess uh, we'll find out. There also should be a gear upgrade for Divine Belial, obviously. And as well, a launcher that's supposed to be the same as the B191. From here, let's talk about Hyperion and Helios. As you see, it's neat, man, it's neat. Um, either way, let's talk about Hyperion and Helios now. So I do have to put some filters on these uh, images. I mean, honestly, it's probably just gonna be a little bit. These images are already very low Q and it's not exactly like, uh, like in a few days, we are gonna get the updated. First off, let's talk about the Hyperion. So I am very happy, first of all, that they are side facing. I think if they were front facing, it would be very cursed. Uh, either way, though, uh, for core, I don't know. I, I don't know if I literally know. We don't know subset. We don't know anything right now other than just what it looks like visually. And keep in mind, similar to Xiphoid, I try to take it with kind of like a grain of salt because I remember hating on Xiphoid, but then after I saw more of it, and I thought, eh, it's pretty good, maybe. The one thing that's like the biggest pressure for this release is that this is the last chance they have to make like a guilty level attack type. Xiphoid is pretty much closed because the contact point kind of wears. I don't kind of count it, but you could kind of say Xiphoid, I guess. Either way, this thing has to be heavy, man. It's got it like it's got to basically do what Gatling did for weight and just be good. Because Gatling for attack was kind of just like a B tier thing. Same with like Divine Plus A. So I I don't count Zest. Like for main attack type stuff that's released as an attack type, I, 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 we need it, man. We honestly, like, we need it. The other thing I want to talk about is, what else I think it could be? Uh, for the blade, uh, for, not the blade, the core. Hopefully it has metal. That's what I really want to see. Uh, otherwise, like, what else could they do? No, like someone tell me, what else can they do for a gimmick for a core that's interesting? Knight, okay, Knight was pretty unique, I'll give them that. Uh, Dragon, they did bound, but it was like different from Valkyrie core. Just, just, just give it metal. Like, Perseus has metal, yes, but it's not the same way that Longinus has it for placement. I, I honestly, for both of them, if they both just had metal, I, I, I'd be like okay with it, to be honest. We need more like, for left especially, we need more viable left cores if we ever want to run multiple lefts. But, for the shape of the blade, 
it, it, it's kind of like, I don't know what, what would be the best way between Ace or Venom, but... I mean, I don't know, hopefully it's got some weight to it, otherwise I, I don't see it being that crazy. Maybe, maybe I'm being harsh right now, but we have to wait and see, obviously, which is always going to be the case. Hope it's good. Hope is good, because it's taking up a slot that I could have had for other stuff, which, by the way, for all those that doubted, ah, how does it feel now, months later, who gets the last laugh? Uh, I guess I do. Yeah. I still wish they picked some other stuff, but whatever. It's kind of like that reality got accepted that they are just doing it. I, I mean, as much as we would have wanted like a, a Hades, a Joe, you know, like stuff that like the unique ones, you gotta remember that if this stuff is ending and wants to sell, they gotta do the same strategy they've always doing like every season, which is just milk the old motifs that are popular or that have much relevance. And then they just, they just do it because Obviously, as nice as it would be to get like a, a chaos or like more obscure stuff like uh, Ifrit. Uh, uh, Magma doesn't exist, don't tell me that. But you know what I mean? Like, it, it just doesn't happen. They also have limited slots, so I can kind of get why they pick what they do. Helios, I think, is the more exciting one, I would say. I hope um, the left core uh, has bound or something to it, um, or it could just be metal. I don't know whether or not it has the bound or not. I feel like left bound could make some sense because, you know, they usually do the reverse course sometimes uh, for the releases. You know, you had Bahamut that had slope and the rubber, you had Kerbeus core that was the reverse of Bahamut, so. Yeah, the blade. Very odd. It reminds me of Hell Salamander 10 bladed. I was kind of right. I, I, I thought Hyperion would be closer to Super and Helios closer to Volcano. They kind of are. Also, I don't know if anyone's picking up on this, but if you notice, one half is silver, one half is gold. So I'm wondering if there is a subsystem to this. What exactly is it going to be? Hopefully they pick good parts. Uh, ideally, I want new armors if they could do it and at least new discs. New discs most certainly. I wonder if they'll do something tricky and they'll make both of them like be specific to be lock disc or something. I feel like they could do that. Performance tips, I don't know. I, I What can they do if it's not going to be new? If it's going to be repeated, just... I would just take high zone dash and high exceed dash, I'll be honest. Like, I don't really care for a metal zone. L let's just wait and uh, see. So that's where I want to end it off. And I want to mention that we have a store. Uh, we have the Demon Sword Xiphoid Excalibur. Not only that, we have the full random booster volume 30. Uh, we also have last day, by the way, for the Hello Kitty thing, which uh, the results we will announce tomorrow in the week in review. So make sure to check that out. And that's going to be it for now. So thank you for watching. Credit to Jane. Jane, have an awesome and amazing. Hey everyone, we are doing a limited giveaway for our customers who pre-ordered uh, the Hello Kitty on our shop. And the ones you still want to pre-order, make sure to listen. So you automatically get in with your purchase of Kitty. And what we're giving, you can win with your purchase of one, or at, at, at least one, some got multiple. If you win, you can get one Hello Kitty that includes the shipping along with the plushie. And you get a plushie of Hello Kitty that is legit authentic from Japan. So for the people who purchase, you're automatically entered into the thing. And for the people who want to get into it, so long as you pre-order before September 10th, which is the draw date, you have a chance. So best of luck to everyone. It's an authentic plushie of Hello Kitty. It's really nice. A good opportunity. We want to give back to our, uh, our support from our customers.